Adobe Spark is an online editing and designing tool that you can use on the go um, through your web browser itself. So you can access this by going on to spark.adobe.com and the best thing about it is it is free of cost. So you can uh, sign in with your Google, Facebook or Adobe ID and you can access uh, the Adobe Spark. So I've already signed in on to my Spark page and over here you can see that you can even upgrade uh, to a better plan if you want more designs. But anyways, we're going to work with this uh, right here. So once I'm in my dashboard, you can see that I have an option to create a project right here and you even have option to personalize your designs on the top left. And once you sign in for the first time, you might be taken through a guide on how to use Spark as well. So you can get access to this as well. So once you start your project, you get to this uh, page right here. So over here, you can see that there's personalize your design as a section right here where you can add your logo, your color, pick a font. We're going to see uh, all of this in future lessons. Over here on the top, you can see this plus icon right here. Or you can also create a project by clicking on create a project right here. So I'm going to create plus icon. You can see that over here, and this might be something that you see if you uh, start from basic cell. You can also start everything from scratch, as you can see. And you see three options here. There's graphics, web page, and video. So there's Spark Post, which is used for graphics, Spark Page, which is used for to create a web page, and Spark Video itself. So I'm going to go with graphics. And once I click on graphics, you can see that I actually selected blank posts. I didn't select any template there. So I, I can select something like a Facebook cover right here, a square, and I'm going to press next. You can also choose the photos and everything. I'm just going to uh, click skip right now because I just want to get to the interface. And over here, it prepares everything and you can see that I'm in an interface itself. And here it gives me various options that I can uh, actually use. So I can use kindness as courteous and you can see that I can simply double click and change this to, to edit the text. So I can type in text right here. So I'm going to say tutor tube right here, press done. And there you go. The design is actually there and that's quite simple. So I can move around the text right here and it's quite uh, quite easy to work around with that. As you can see right here, I can change the type of the text that I want to use. And there you go. I have a quick design right here. You can also click different type of styles right here and it changes the design up for me quite easily. And this is all done online just like that. You can also go over here into layout sections to choose different layouts that you want to apply to the design and you can even resize it into widescreen and so forth. So you can see that it quickly adjusts everything out. So I'm just going to, and it automatically saves my project. So I don't want to work with this. Let's say I want to work with a video. Uh, I'm going to go into projects right here. So this is how I start up a Spark post that is a graphic design. Um, material right here. So I'm going to press this plus icon once more. And here you can see that on um, start to scratch, I can also choose uh, one of the templates right here. So I'm going to select, let's say web pages. And here, let's say I want to uh, grow my business. So I'm going to choose this newsletter template right here. So it'll use my the template that I selected. And here you go. So here you can see that I can add in a title right here. For example, tutor tube. Uh, lessons at your convenience just like that and there you go you, so you can go over here add in a photo for example you can also find free photos as you can see so i'm going to say uh, computer press enter you see a lot of computers right there let me just click on that there you go like you quickly have a web page just like that so you can add in text you can add in photos you can add in photo grid right here according to what you want so let's say i want to add in photo grid with this image right here with this and this and there you go so there is the base just like that so i'm going to press save and there you go you got the first base right here and you got the photo grid so that's how easy it is and there are a lot of options you can work with uh web page as well so you can easily create a one page website or a portfolio just like this so um now once i got into it so there's the spark post base right here i'm going to click here to go get back and I'm going to click on this plus icon once more and let us go to videos now. So let's say I want to have a blank video. So I'm going to click video itself. And here, let's say just another week, every great story starts somewhere. So it is trying to help me out. So Spark really 
uh, tries to help me out with everything. So I'm going to say uh, something like tutorials, tutorials, and I'm going to press next. So I'm going to, I want to promote the idea teacher lessons or something. Let's say I want to teach a lesson. So I'm going to select that and it takes uh, five to seven impressions. It gives you some things, tips and everything. So even if you are a beginner in designer, uh, Spark really helps you create everything on the fly. So it is preparing the canvas for me. So it's loading. And there you go. You got the uh, video as well. So I'm just going to say I'm ready. So you can see that uh, this is the video timeline right here. So you can actually go here. Uh, let's say I want to work with a full screen for now. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say tutor tube just like this. Tutor tube. All right. And on the second part, I'm going to add in a split screen, for example. And let's say I'm going to add in a photo right here. Let me find free photos. I'm going to say tutorial. Let's see if some photos comes up with that. So there are some tutorials right here. So not, not the exact photo that I'm looking for. Anyways, I'm just going to use this. And on this side, I'm going to say to the tube uh, uh, lessons at your convenience, lessons at your convenience, just like that. And I can also narrate this out. So we're going to see a lot of things in the future lessons right here. So now once I'm happy with the text and everything, I can press the play button and you can see that there's the quick animation right there. So there's all the animation right there. Play this house. You can see that that's how it plays around. You can also play around the full animation right here. And there you go. Right, there you go. That's how easy it is to create a video. So you can easily create animations. It cannot be much more easier than this. So we're going to look at this further in future lessons. Uh, about how to work with uh, Spark Post, video, and pages, just like that, and to work around with this creative tool. So, hope you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.